What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Swag on him, a.k.a. A1. Uh, number one ranked player coming to the seed with the Baltimore Ravens Club. I got a little scheme for y'all. If any of you guys are struggling with, like, I know passing comes sometimes can be easy. So, like, if you have pretty good pass defense and you struggle with inside zone um, when you're playing guys, something simple that you can do. Um, but, again, you need to worry about RPOs as well. But if you're just trying to struggle and you're struggling against inside zone, Literally, the front that you need to do is it's 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 really simple, and a lot of people they don't put this out. A lot of pro players don't put them out, but I'm gonna expose it. I'm gonna put it out there just because, like, I'm just that. I'm just gonna put it out there. So if people get mad, they get mad. But I'm gonna be doing this too because ain't nobody just about to run the ball on me in shotgun. Like it's not gonna happen. Like you're gonna run the ball, then get in like some heavy sets, and then then you have to build my abilities down low on defense. Um, so you gonna run the ball, then run the ball. Uh, but by all means, this is what you wanna do, bro. So right here, you want to press, uh, if you're not trying to make any coverage adjustments on defense in regards to just your coverage, you just want to focus on your run fit and you're fine on the back end against like trip sets. This is what you need to do to make sure you feel safe and comfortable when stopping the run. Okay. RB. Pinch these guys down. Okay. Pinch the linebackers. After you pitch the linebackers, you want to press left on the analog stick. Shift the D-line left. At this point, bro, it's going to open up a can of worms right in the middle of the football field. You're not making no adjustment with the D-line. Again, if your coverage is fine, if you like your coverage against trips, continue to do what you're doing on coverage rise. But if you're struggling on run fits, you're at the right spot right now. All right? All you do is this, bro. That's it. And you'll switch over if you get caught up slipping. But for the most part, bro, it's, it's really simple. Again, side the D-line to the left side, uh, pinch the linebackers, and then you just play football right here. Again, you're stopping the run with six guys in the box just because you know how to set up a front. If you know how to set up a front in football from a D-line standpoint, linebacker, linebacker standpoint, if you don't know I play linebacker, bro, I've been commanding, put like this, uh, subscribers, or like my, my peoples, bro, pick fans of the A-1. If, if, if you understand, I've been commanding linebacker, bro, since I was seven years old up until I got into Canada. Uh, and then, unfortunately, I got cut. I mean, shit, you, at some point, you're going to get cut. <laughs> but I've been commanding the defense, so I just understand fronts and things like that. Uh, if you want to stop the inside zone, man, piss the, D, uh, piss the linebackers. You have to pinch the linebacker because it messes up the blocking adjustments, okay? And then you want to just slide the D-line left. Right here, we have a little odd front now. This damn near kind of like a 3-4 defense if you think about it. And it's going to cause issues for the, uh, what's it called? For the, what's it called? For the offensive line. Because now from an inside zone standpoint, this D lineman here, he's, um, I mean, I can't even, damn, I can't even see it. I'll just do this right here. So this guy right here, the, the center, number 68, I was about to point and shit. <laughs> the, the center, number 68, I'll show you in a replay, actually. Let's do that. Let me get one. I want to get a good one, okay? I'm over here. Let me lock in. Excuse me. Pinch them. I mean, send them to the left and then come down right here. No coverage adjustments needed if, you, if your coverage is fine. Are they going to snap it or what? I was like, bro, are they going to snap it? <laughs> With good linebackers, this is a really good defense, too. I want to get a good uh, a good one inside. Again, you pinch linebackers coming come like this. You get right behind kind of like that nose tackle, and you really just shoot that gap. But I want to get like the first one, how you saw that one, you know what I mean? Just like that. Don't move it. Just stay right here, and then play ball. And I wouldn't even accelerate through. Like right there, I accelerate through. I didn't even press R. And that's one thing. Like don't press R trigger initially. Push it, real notch a lot, squeeze, like I'm super notch a lot with it, and I'm really comfortable with the linebacker. I'm not move, I'm not even pressing R until I hit the gap. Now I'm pressing R on the gap. Once I kind of get through that first little air area, then I'm gonna press R. We're gonna hit one more and then we're gonna go to replay and then we're gonna wrap this video up. Again, push them down. I mean, I mean have linebackers line D lineman go left, pinch these guys down, they come right in. Just blow his ass up. Now, let's do the replay so we can actually talk some football right now as a linebacker. Um, I love this shit, bro. All right, so right here, bro, we're looking at the inside front, um, inside zone, inside zone. 
We got our front right here. We guys are we're right up on them. We don't have much of a threat to the right side. Um, this is what I'm seeing at the linebacker position. We're not slanting. We're keeping the same D line, um, basically how they're going. The reason we're doing that is because that I want to make sure they're focusing on getting penetration of field versus slanting. I don't want them crossing faces because if you're crossing faces from a defensive line standpoint, keep in mind I played defensive line too. Now at high school, bro, all conference, all CIF, the uh, league MVP. I'm on the 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 accolades could just go on forever, but. When you're doing this up front for the D-line, you want to get penetration. I don't care about ripping from the side. Get pen penetration. Pussy, push these guys back. Um, take on double teams. Let the linebackers play football. If you beat the double team, you make a play, good job, bro. But you're supposed to be up there up front holding down the line of scrimmage because the game is won at the line of scrimmage. So we come right here. This guard, because of the double team right here, right here, right here, look, look, look. Look at the double team. That center, he has to, listen, he has to come down and get to this three tech right over here. A three tech is somebody that's on the right side. So by me as audible in these guys, I put him at the three tech, okay? So he's a three tech. That means he's on the guard's inside shoulder, um, outside shoulder, my bad. He's on the guard's outside shoulder. A one tech right here, this D line right here, he's inside the center. So because of that, they have to get the double on this. Um, they have to change the double and he has to get over here. Okay, now what that means, this guy, this linebacker, front side line, I mean back, uh, yeah, front side linebacker, right here, he's front side linebacker. Backside's gonna be left side because he's to the back side, obviously running back, back side. Front side backer, bro, he has to get over and get hit this gap right here, bro. Like, he has to get up in here. If he doesn't, we cannot stop to the right side in between 99, 96. If he doesn't get over there in time, what happens is that we get they pretty much going to, they pretty much going to score a touchdown because they got guys do, um, do what they need to do. So this is like just awesome linebacker play up front, being able to have your safeties back and be able to run a two high scheme on defense if your coverage is on point, and then have your linebackers in the middle of the defense just handling big business, just straight dogs. You know what I mean? So because we're able to get down real hill, that that tackle he can't cut me off either. Cause, because that tackle has to get to me because we changed the front up, <laughs> the double can't come on to the middle linebacker no more. That tackle has to really work up to get to me. If I don't hesitate and hit this thing inside hard, he's going to get me. Read options, and they might run read option too out of this. And if they run read option, you want to make sure that um, this guy right here is pressing. Um, he's on conservative. That way he's kind of just coming down, sliding downhill. He's not coming full speed like chasing the running back. He's sliding down. I've been labbing this stuff all day up, just getting really into detail. Um, so it's going to work. It's going to be successful for you. So me as my user, I'm shooting that gap because there's nothing for me backside. There's, I have no responsibilities to the left side of the field. I got one, two hats over here, bro. They're going to be in coverage. I got these hats over here, bro, in coverage. We got five technically on three, three speeds. So we got five speeds. Covering three speeds. We got three speeds in the right side of the field, two speeds in the left side of the field, and we got six bodies up front with a, a front that's going from hell that's going to cause issues for the old line in the block. So because of that, we have to be we have to be 100% correct in our reads. We're not 100% correct in our reads. We're not going to be able to make plays. Come downhill, bro, and just honestly just make a play. Shoot the gap. Shoot the gap. Be a football player. Make a play in the backfield. I appreciate you for tuning in, man. I hope this video helped you out in regards to the inside run. I'm going to do it one more time live for y'all so you have a smooth understanding. Again, you want to press left. I don't know what coverage you like. Left. Have the D-line go left, okay? That changes the front. And check this out. I'm going to show you the other front real quick. Sheer, we clear shift. Right here, the one tech. Look at that one tech. He's a one tech right now, and that's going to be easy to block. You want to know why it's going to be easy to block? Because that guard on the left side, 74, he's going to have a straight shot. To what's the call? He's going to double team and have a straight shot to what's the call? My middle linebacker on the field. So because of that, I want to make sure we're changing, make him, have, I want to be playing behind the one tech as a Mike backer. So now I'm playing behind my one tech. That's why I'm most comfortable as a middle linebacker when you're controlling him. And you just want to come on right here, baby. And you just want to go ahead and make that play. Hey, I'm a freaking dog. I appreciate you tuning in. Hit that subscribe. I'm out here, baby.